Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account. We have 9,000 diamonds, so I do wanna do a couple summons in here, but I wanna look and take a look and really break down the collections, guys. Now overall, I farmed up a collection. Now this is gonna probably just blow a lot of people's minds. Um, when we look at our collections, these are the ones that I got through running through the Ghoulish Gallery that they actually gave me for free. And as you can see, guys, they have some pretty good stats over here, but they only have one of these collection skills. And then right there, skill level number one. Um, if I have the opportunity to level this up, I can actually get skill level or get the second ability that is in there. However, I ran it a little bit earlier and I got this one that I built myself. As you can see, we stacked a skill level one and a skill level two, or, or two skill level ones, as you can see right there, resulting in a skill level two. That is right, guys. These do have a higher skill level than just the skill level one. I don't know as of right now, and again, the skill level two was rumored um, over on Reddit. A couple of players were kind of talking about it, but they said there was rumored that there is a skill level two. And as you can see, guys, right there is the skill level two, which means these can go much higher, but does that mean there's a three, a four, a five? I, I don't know at this point, and I don't know if anyone does know. Um, but now remember, these are not technically artifacts. Now, this is something, again, that I kind of wanted to look in before we get into our summons. But when you look at here is with the skill levels, these actually take up two slots. So I did sacrifice two of my slots that I could actually put on um, different collection abilities just because I had to use those plus skill levels. And I did it because I wanted to see if it worked. Now, one of these I actually picked up along the way um, with a a totem that I was using that actually let me go ahead and build that. So again, they do have skill level number two right there. Now keep that in mind, guys. Now it was pretty interesting. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 10 artifacts today. Now I built this artifact and I believe it replaced the other one that I got by chance. And I was kind of curious about that one that I wonder if you can only have one or there we go. So maybe we didn't get this very last one to pick up the Shadow Dancer 10, to have two copies of the Shadow Dancer, but I'm almost positive that you can have more than one. And looking here, guys, based on skill level one, you can see this is already coming with skill level one unlocked. But the one that I farmed up today has that skill level two on there, which is gonna make this really, really interesting. Now, wait, there's more, guys. So looking at the guild and also looking at the Nightmare Corridor and the Curse Realm, so let's go ahead, let's hop in the curse realm first and we'll look at our leaderboard and let's go just to a random player in here. So here we go. So we have our regular formations, we have our pets, you know, these are the whale formations. Now one thing you'll notice, hero info, that is right guys. These are not considered artifacts or it is considered artifacts or they're going into the artifact slot because right there we do have artifacts or collections as they're calling them in the Nightmare Corridor. That's right, they are showing up in there, um, even though when you go back, and I kind of looked through it here, where it says, um, right there, heroes will not receive any artifact effect bonuses. However, on the leaderboard, they have artifacts equipped through all different heroes, guys. You can see, again, technically they're calling them collections, but they're going in the artifact slot. They're going in the artifact slot in the leaderboards here which I know a lot of players, and again, I'm thinking if a lot of the larger whales or a lot, of, a lot of the larger players are going to farm up a bunch of these artifacts, get higher levels on them because they're buying all of the stuff that they have in there, this game mode is going to, really both of these game modes, when you go to the Curse Realm, when you go to the Nightmare Corridor, this is going to create a massive divide, which I don't think in here I'm even far enough to get in. But again, in here I was seeing the exact same. There we go. So we do have the artifacts again in the Nightmare Corridor, which of course here it says you cannot use artifacts, which is pretty funny. So when you go here, and I believe it's right here, um, artifact effect bonuses you will not receive. However, they are still in there as of right now, guys. I don't know if that's something they're gonna change or if they're just gonna go ahead and let players roll with the artifact bonuses that they're picking up out of the game mode. So if you're running the game mode and even looking here, guys, if you're on, a free to play account or you know a smaller account if you can equip all those artifacts onto your team because there's a point where you only run essentially one team um to a point so if you can run you know your your one team in there but you can run them with 
the artifacts that are kind of stacked up. And again, I'm thinking of my wishlist account where we're not running a ton of heroes on there, but overall we definitely can make, and it's interesting to see that that is going to be an option to be able to go in there and run those heroes. Now let's pop open these guys. I wanna do a couple summons on here and we've been farming up a lot of different game modes. Boom, again, the superb stones don't give us anything. This one, we do get a copy there of Ivan, so very nice. We have Damon, we have Orin. Still looking again to, to build out and get a lot of these heroes, guys. Now with this account specifically, a lot of the newer heroes are kind of where we're, we're starting to lack because a lot of the newer heroes are where I kind of stopped making a lot of progression within this account, which means we did fall back a little bit, but we definitely have to play some catch up here. So Liberto, we farmed up 30 Stargazer Scrolls. That's right, guys. As we continue to gain levels, we actually got these out of the towers. Now the towers you'll find very quickly, they are the number one place to get Stargazer cards, guys. I cannot stress it enough. When you're getting your Stargazer Scrolls, it is the towers that I farm these up on all of my accounts, even on the free to play account, the YouTube account, even the wishlist account, we were farming up those Stargazer Scrolls out of the towers. Now we're still looking for Liberta and I believe if I remember correctly, we had him at Mythic. I thought maybe it was Mythic or maybe that was the copy to get him to Mythic. So hopefully we can get him a little bit further up guys. We did only get one single copy in there. Then of course, Sophia, we are still looking for more copies in here. And I believe again here, we only need one copy of the Awakened version of Sophia here. So pretty close there. But let's see what we got. We got a copy of Liberta. Again, I think that might be the extra copy we needed. So Orin getting another star. So he was actually one of the last heroes um, that I built out much higher. So Liberta was, or excuse me, Orin was one of the heroes that I built out that was um, quite a bit higher, which this is only taking legendary. I thought he was higher than legendary, but I guess not, guys. We're gonna have to build him out his entirety. Of course, Damia, we already do have built. And then with the Awakened version of Sophia, I believe, again, we're maybe one copy. So right there, we have her at Mythic Plus. Already built out with the Tier 4. We have double copies right here, which means one more copy, guys, and then we'll build, build it. So again, thinking of the newer heroes when I kind of stopped playing, um, Jerome and Guineas in here, um, we do have Corsio. And here, Trishia, of course, we didn't really build out. And then, of course, Ivan, we've been kind of focused building for a little bit to try to actually build it out. Now, in addition, also, they, they did Ninja Brutus's room. So it actually showed up in the story right here that they put his room in, didn't announce it, didn't say anything, just literally showed up here. So if you haven't noticed, guys, you can pop a free 100 diamonds in there out of the, the Ninja Brutus room that we got. So Oaken, I think, again, we have a couple more summons in here. I want to see who we're working on. Five cards on the table. If we can get that one copy of Sophia, that will be, be built up. The Beard is in there as well. So again, I'm going to do some more summons. Naruko, we still need some copies. Just need more cards, guys. As we continue the Stargazer scroll, um, they're, they're really looking for them. So there's Liberta. And I believe Palmer was the other one, guys, that we almost had completely built at this point. I want to see there's a copy for the Awakened version of Sophia. We might be able to get her built out and just literally take her to nine because there's a second one right there, but we might be able to actually take her up and literally just build her up to the nine of nine furniture with the cards we got on the table because it's five cards there and almost another one built. But we're close. We're really close, guys, to having these uh, built out their entirety. Same with pets. I believe the pets were looking to take them to 12. I think it is 12 right now. Um, they're at nine, 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 nine. So yep, nine across the board. So definitely going to take them to 12. That is the next step by step, guys. And there is a copy of Talus Main. And that gives us one of one of four or essentially one of three to go ahead and build that hero out. But definitely making some more progression on here, guys. Again, been looking back, kind of circling back and farming a lot more of the King's Towers. Want to go through, run a couple more of the Ghoulish Gallery. Fill out this thrilling voyage, but again, looking at our artifacts, even putting like on Rem, for instance, I believe the Chaos Bringer is going to go to pretty much the garbage at this point, but putting on this one full defense, full buffer, and of course, those skill levels are not really going to help a lot, but she does get those double skills on there with the collection. So 
So pretty interesting. Now also remember guys, if you remove this, you gotta spend diamonds to put it back on. It has a 24 hour cooldown, so you cannot swap these. But go through, get your free relics in there, or your free collections, um, put them on the heroes that you're really using them the most. It's gonna make a difference. So all right guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.